They want to start streaming the live event. You bet. My event is starting. Woohoo! And I'm up. I think I'm streaming. I think I'm live. And no one's probably watching. That's all right. Here we go. I've got my page up. Is it going to show live? Maybe not. No, I don't see it. I don't see it. Fail. Anyway. Still haven't figured out this stupid thing. No, still doesn't say I'm live. Nope. File. Oh no, is that peak concurrent users? Is that 30? Do I have 30 people watching? I can't even see my own broadcast. This is ridiculous. Man, i got a lot of work to figure out this stupid software, that's for sure. Dun, dun, dun. That's better. Check, check. Now, if I can only get to my live video page, I'd be able to see myself to see if I'm actually public view. Oh, yeah, there we go. Comments. Hey, hey, guys. Hey, Mitchell. Woohoo! Scooter TV, video plus audio both works fine. Loud and little bassy the sound, otherwise, yeah, it's going to be pretty crap. I'm just using this crappy webcam. Well, it's not crappy, it's a good webcam, but hey, it's a webcam. Alright. I can't see myself. I'm assuming I work. Oh yeah, live, there we go. Don't know why it doesn't show up on my channel page, but... Oh, view, view, okay, view as public. Duh. Okay, yeah, there we go, live now. Alright, yeah, live testing, got it. <sighs> dear, oh dear. I really need to... Oh, yeah, the frame rate, shit. Yeah, the frame rate's awful. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright. Yeah, Wirecast is telling me that the frame rate's only 8 frames per second or something pretty crap all right I'm not sure why I really have to figure this out better anyway this is pretty crap anyway yeah I just wanted to do another quick uh, test to see if my um, thing would stream I don't think I was full HD last time I think I'm at least 1280 by 720 now um, streaming so I just wanted to test that and oh no oh no that's my live okay my recorded version on oh, my stream is okay but my the one I'm actually watching coming in is crap yeah not so great when it comes to software networking yeah no kidding um, yeah, I just haven't spent time at it. I, I like, I'm, I'm not kidding. The time I spent mucking around with this is the time I've actually tried it live. That's about the, uh, uh yep. Yeah, anyway, all right. I have no idea what frame rate I'm at or anything. Um, yeah, that's a fail. More tests to come. Anyway, what I wanted to show was, uh, the um, I'm, I'm going to do a video on this, but I just got it working, and I was rather excited. Um, the LVDC hardware, the uh, launch vehicle digital computer um, from the Apollo uh, Saturn V rocket. I, uh, there it is. I'm going to focus on that. There it is. There's that puppy. Look at that. The Apollo 
launch vehicle guidance computer and uh, this comes from uh, Fran, Fran Blanche if you haven't uh, seen her channel please check it out she's done some awesome reverse engineering on this um, LVDC board so I thought what I'd do um, is I would try and actually see if there's any semiconductors actually uh, still working in this thing you know diodes because it's diode transistor logic um, and I don't know the pinouts um, so I've just been sort of like probing around trying to find the pinouts and stuff and I found one so um, what I want to do is want to get the um, check it with my source meter because uh, Agilent have asked for their um, source measure unit back their uh, shmu or the, I've, I've actually got two of them so hopefully they'll only want one back um, for, for the time being anyway so they want to send it back so I thought I'd uh, hook it up and uh, try and get hang on there it is here's my uh, here's here's the software and uh, try and measure what I'll do is I'll put this back here for a second um, and actually try and get a, a diode characteristic curve of a diode still on this LVDC and I found one I probed around and I found a diode beauty um, well it's uh, I don't know it could be uh, part of a transistor I'm not sure I haven't uh, been able to find the rest but I am getting um, I was able to get a diode curve up here and I'll show you there's a couple of uh, pins I've mapped um, on the bottom here so I've mapped I've mapped there and this green one here I actually found a diode between those two pins there so I'm going to uh, probe this and I'll um I'll show you I won't uh, yeah sorry I don't this wirecast software ain't great for I can probably wirecast my screen local desktop presenter here we go will it be a complete fail or I can put it up oh yeah there we go uh, local desktop presenter save settings check check here we go this could save this could fail miserably add local desktop presenter shot Ta -da! and okay I'm going to try this I've now switched yes it worked I've now switched to my desktop awesome I haven't tried that before um, and for some reason the microscope doesn't work this wirecast software is still shit and yes I have tried open broadcaster but it doesn't seem to support my video capture card at least I haven't found it yet um, I only had a quick play with it but uh, my uh, Tagano microscope works with this uh, wirecast software but it wipes out when I select it it wipes out all the other shots like the desktop presenter and the webcam and all sorts of other weird stuff so it's bizarre anyway um, oh I thought you were looking at my head you aren't there we go there's my head um, there we go so yeah um, anyway local desktop watch this watch this let's not muck around anymore here we go let's go full screen on this uh, schmoo and wahoo yeah all right it's still okay here we go I'm going to probe it I think I got the right two the correct two pins and I'm going to sweep this sucker um I can't remember what source settings I've got I got like 500 points from 0 to 2 volts and I'm stopping at like 100 milliamps anyway measure boom look at that there is our diode curve and that kinkiness in there is I believe Dicky contacts I've got some real micro probes on here so let me measure that again see I didn't speak that time or but if now if I speak and muck around with the probes I can pro no no there we go anyway look at that we have a diode characteristic curve we have um, it's got a one volt drop or it's you know it's a pretty piss poor diode but it's got a one volt drop at uh, three you know two and a half milliamps there or something like that so it's pretty darn poor but that is certainly some form of uh, diode curve now 
To give you a comparison, I'll do a 1 in 41, 48. So I'm probe, I'll probe this, and I'll... Uh, I can be fancy pantsy. I can see if I had somebody who actually switched all this stuff live. Right. So there it is. I'm using these real tiny little uh, spring-loaded uh, probes. So I was before I was programming a couple of pins there on the uh, LVDC, but now I'm probing a uh, one in forty-one forty-eight diode, and I can uh, go back here, and the audio is still good, I think. I'll make sure everyone is uh, still watching. Is everyone still watching? Picture in picture. 9 a.m. in the UK. Excellent. 4 a.m. here. Looks good here in France. Nobody's... Yeah, anyway, there's some lag on here, so... It's 1080, but at 20 frames per second. Okay, audio is a little hot clipping. Yeah. Sorry, um, no, 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 this is not final, this, okay, I'll speak a bit lower, here we go, I'll speak a bit lower, although well, that's hard for me, uh, what am I doing, alright, desktop presenter, okay, ta-da, 4148, here it goes, there we go, that's a 4148, that's what you'd expect, you get in a, a 1 volt drop at like 100 milliamps there, 0 0.1 amps, so, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Whereas this uh, poor old LVDC, like I don't know if it's got stuff in parallel with it. Like it could have other stuff. Like it, like it could, it may not just be the diode on its own. I, in fact, it, I, it's unlikely it is. It's probably got other stuff in there. But look, I at least got a non-linear diode characteristic curve there. That is absolute classic. Starts to, you know, taper up at about 0.6 volts and. Uh, away she goes the linear region after that so you know that is a diode curve for all the world now if i reverse the polarity interestingly i still get this is why i think there's uh, some other stuff in circuit because i reverse the polarity on that i measure it again and we also get a curve it's not quite that you know the classic diode characteristic curve it sort of has two sort of linear segments there's one linear segment there and then sort of it ramps up at another linear segment there. So there's something else in circuit. So I found that. And also I found some resistors as well. This will be a 4.7K resistor. Uh, sorry, 4.4K. Here we go. So this is on the LVDC. And you can see it's a resistor, all right. It's linear. And I can, you know, go there and sort of, you know, set the sort of voltage to 20 volts or something like that. And, uh, and... We can measure that again if we really wanted to. There we go. So that's up to 20 volts. And you can see that's linear. So that is a resistor. Um, and there seems to be a couple of those in there. I found another one. Here's another one. Another resistor. This is on a different chip. This is physically on a different chip. So, But it's the same value. 4.4K uh, or thereabouts. And I found another one somewhere which was 1K. But I... Uh, forgot to document that, so I forget the pins. But anyway, um, there you go. That is um, very exciting. I'll do a, a proper video on this. So I just wanted to test my live camera again, so I thought I'd do the same thing. This audio shouldn't be hot, by the way. It's uh, minus six. Yeah, it's minus six dB according to the VU level meter. Anyway, um. So there you go. There's the Apollo LVDC module, launch vehicle digital uh, computer. Found a diode in it. Beauty. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm just, I don't know the pinouts. I was just probing around and I happened to find uh, what looked like a diode. Then I hooked it up to my schmoo. And sure enough, we're getting a diode characteristic curve. It looks like other stuff in circuit, but hey, that's pretty impressive for you know 1960s um vintage technology it still has that diode characteristic curve awesome i love it so there you go um that's all i'm going to do because it's six o'clock and i probably should go home now it's six o'clock 6 p.m on a public holiday so that's how sad i am i'm uh yep i'm stuck here i should go home 
it's bath time for Sagan. So there you go. Um, thank you. That was just a very quick test. I'm not sure how. 137 people. See, that's the thing with this. I click live and 137 people turned up, and I haven't even uh, peak, and I haven't even uh, gotten all this live stuff set up properly yet. Ah, oh, it's pissing me off. Anyway, ugh, not very good. Um, so yeah, I can. Before I go, before I go, I'll switch over. No, actually, I'll say bye now because I'm going to switch over to the Tagano microscope and I might lose the audio. In, in fact, I guarantee I'll lose the audio. But I will show you uh, the LVDC um, under the Tagano microscope here. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time. Add shot. Add well, I'll tell you what, no, I'll just go, <laughs> local desktop presenter, here we go, add shot, and uh, I can add Ava Media HD capture, uh, bus 2, and show source settings, boom, capture device size, no, that's ridiculous, there you go. Alright, all right, here we go, to go no microscope time, I try and add it, and no, it's gone for all three, it's automatically swapped all three cameras there, that's just...